This video will be a little different than most of the other videos on this channel as it will be a seasonal recap along with telling the full story of what happened in SS1-2. So stick around in this video because I will be giving you progress of my current account and what has transpired throughout the season and what my goals will be for next season. What's up guys, Meow are here back with a brand new video. So in this video of Call of Dragons, it will be a little more less structured than what I usually tend to make. And uh, it will be more like a chat with you guys sort of thing. So a lot has happened in this season, starting with my account. I started, at, I started this season at 30 million account. I only had two awakened legendaries. And I kind of set a goal for myself at the start of the season just to come close to T5, or rather unlock T5. But sadly, this season, I will not be able to attain it, or I will be extremely close since all I'm missing for T5 is this research, which I don't have enough speedups for it just yet. And then I'll be unlocking probably the first T5 I will unlock will be mages, followed by archers, followed by infantry. And then finally, cavalry, since that's, since my commanders are best suited for those three troop types for now, while my cavalry commanders are still lacking a little bit, as you can see here from my Bakshi and Emrys. They're close to being awakened, but my Bakshi is not yet. I haven't really touched on him just yet, since I wanted to awaken both my infantry marches first. And now I'm working on my... Nico, uh, I finished my Nico. I'm working on my Kanara right now. She's 5142. I think I'll have her awakened by the start by the end of next month if things go well and she appears in a wheel or two. Um, and yeah, that is it for the personal side of the account and such. Also, I finished the College of Order 25, I finished VIP 15 and all that juicy, juicy stuff. Now, what has transpired in server one uh, dash, or rather super server one dash two? Well, it's a long story, so grab your popcorn and jump along for the ride. So I started this season in BDL. Shout out to my BDL fam. There, you will always be my family. Uh, we were we were going into the season as neutral as pure neutral. We were allied, or rather, in a family alliance with GOD from Server Six, yeah. uh, aka Holy Grails. Shout out to Anonymous, the R five of there of uh, GOD. At first, we were not planning on participating in the war since there was gonna be a war between Novola and Sofrastia involving two sides, the SS family, uh, which is consistent of what remains of Kunt. And uh, I honestly don't remember the other names. Well, uh, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> uh, versus uh, TA and uh, TM with help from GRZ and TMS. So it was sort of a, a rather... Um, split between the server between those two and then us since we were thrown into the mix less than 10 days before the server before our season was ending or rather after our season ended, it was announced that we will be merging with the ss1-1 becoming ss1-2 now of course we were very behind compared to everyone else we did not have the firepower we did not have the whales and we still our average player is quite behind compared to everyone else here. So we had Burning on our side, Buzz, uh, Fatty, Immortal, and a few others, Vlad Banshee, uh, Ashura, uh, Boogeyman, Lewis, Aiden Bear, uh, Bakunawa, etc., etc., etc. The server was split in two after a little bit since uh, we were threatened a little bit by TA. We were sent messages stating that there's no such thing as pure neutral now whether if it was actually them that sent those messages or people impersonating as them is not yet no, is not known anymore since no one really bothered to follow up on that anymore since the wars ended however the way the war has transpired is that um, we in, we our fight place was going to be in the Vola 
So uh, we were bordered up in the Vola here. Here there's even a flag remaining here of SS11. So the passes, uh, the passes leading into Sofrostia was the war zone at the beginning of the war. We did some mistakes here and there. Uh, when we invaded Navola, we we dropped some fortresses here and here. We went all the way and then uh, bunkered up at the war, at the pass, becoming a pass war. Of course, we were not as experienced as the SS and TA slash TM groups, so they had more knowledge of us of what good what better garrison combinations were there and what better rally combinations were there. So that was a major disadvantage for us. But by the time we figured out the current meta and how they were doing what they were doing, it was a little bit too late. But nonetheless, it was an amazing war. We BDLs was on this side, BDL, SS-18, and uh, NT-45 was on this side. Uh, G.O.D. and SS-11 was on, and I.B.L. were on the northern side. It was a 3v1 at a pass and a 3v1 at a pass. However, our whales were not as uh, account progressed as the enemy whales. That's why we sort of could not uh, hold or rather make a push. It was a stalemate for a few days. Then we made a mistake of pushing, um, or rather uh, we made a mistake of not sustaining our push correctly as we should have pushed correctly and then we lost the pass we got a little bit motivated we got pushed back on the vola bit by bit we wanted to bunker down in darlan and then the same thing happened by then we were starting to fall apart part slowly and but surely we made a decision that we should start merging with each other so by the time the mergers got finalized and such we were pushed back all the way back into forgotten lands which was a major problem since Forgotten Land was the home of NT45, one of our main family allies. And of course, a lot of players started to quit, stopped, some started to jump ship. And uh, it was just overall um, a big fiesta uh, sort of thing. So we bunkered down as the season progressed and passes two were starting to open. We sort of ha had to make a decision to just drop Forgotten Lands and uh, start protecting Zoland and Burning Lands as these two were our home regions. We made a consolidation with the SS group and, uh, and the GOD and we placed all the active fighters into two main alliances, BDL and GOD. And then we had a humongous war in Agaru when, uh, between the passes here. We were Winning the war in a flat 1v1, if it was just BDL versus TA or uh, TM versus uh, GOD slash uh, IDL. Uh, but of course, eventually we got overwhelmed from the northern side when TMS decided to invade Zoland from the north. And that was the fail final nail in the coffin, which, which pretty much buried BDL and God's hope of winning this season. So we ended up requesting a ceasefire and we were willing to agree to any terms. So TA gave us the conditions that we will not enter Agro and we will destroy every single flag we had in Agro and we will be locked in Zoland slash Burning Lands. We agreed because in our mind, if we kept going, we would eventually be under threat in the main, in our main regions, which wouldn't be a problem for the big players but it would be a gigantic problem for the smaller players. So we had to make a sacrifice and say, okay, we admit defeat, we surrender, you guys won, GG's, GG's all around. And then we ended up just um, uh, agreeing to, to, to drop the war, stop fighting immediately and all that good stuff. Of course, there were some tensions uh, the next few days. However, the truce had not been broken and it still stands to this day now uh after that burning uh, one of the main players from god decided to make a deal with ta in order to allow uh access of uh, bdl and uh, god to farm uh, peacefully in agro rather we were still allowed to farm in agro but if uh, they saw our marches they were allowed to hit it and we were not allowed to hit back to not start restart the war that would jeopardize 
the benefits of our smaller members. Burning made a sacrifice of joining TA in exchange of, uh, for allowing uh, GOD and the BDL to peacefully be able to farm in Agro. And since then, the server has been absolute, or, or not, I wouldn't say absolute, but it has been on, it has been borderline inactive and dead. A lot of players started migrating into server 32. Um, a lot of players went into hyper, hibernation. Some started joining other alliances, uh, such as myself, for rewards and such. Uh, since we did send out a mail allowing players to uh, to have the ability to join other uh, alliances if they wished to keep progressing their accounts and not quit the game altogether, I joined the TMS for a little bit. Then I joined, uh, or rather, I joined TM. Then I joined into TM into TMS and then I ended up in TA for the Elite Dragon and since then things have been just Farmville at this point. Now if you ask me what's next, what's my what's next for the BDL family, what's next for everyone, for now everyone is suspecting that the developers have confirmed that there will be a sort of demerger since they confirmed migration between uh, this cluster of servers. So what happen, what will happen is that we will be able to migrate between those six servers between each other. So if I am in server two, I will be allowed to migrate in server five, and to server six, and server four, three, one, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, or I can just stay in server two. What the future after that though is still completely unknown. We still don't know what will happen. So if you ask me the simple question of What's next? If I'm going to stay in TA, if I'm going to join BDL again, or what's going to happen? My answer will be stick around to find out. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty much of what's happened in SS1-2 and the current progress of my account. And yeah, if you like videos of this type and tone, uh, do let me know. I'm still experimenting in this type of video format. So if you have any comments for me, any ways I can improve this and such, I would love to hear them from you. And don't forget to drop a like. And please don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Meow, meow.